The 2019 model of the Huawei MateBook X Pro incorporates the NVIDIA MX250 graphics processor. Sarah Tu, CNET Lite, powerful or affordable, pick 2. Given the state of technology today, you can't get all three. NVIDIA's MX line of mobile graphics processors GPUs is designed as a compromise between Intel's lackluster integrated graphics and more power and space-hungry discrete graphics like NVIDIA's GTX mobile chips to deliver on weight and power without punishing creators and gamers who need the extra oomph too heavily on cost. The question is, how much of a compromise? We took a look at some of the systems we've benchmarked and the new MX250 based version of the Huawei MateBook X Pro to try to figure that out. NVIDIA's current MX lineup consists of the MX230 and MX250. Laptops incorporating the chip were announced by all the usual suspects in early 2019 as updates to their existing MX150 models, Acer Aspire 5, HP Envy 17, Dell Inspiron 15 7000 and the Huawei MateBook X Pro, to name a handful, though none of them are available to buyers yet. We haven't heard about anyone using the MX230, both GPUs are very modest upgrades of the MX130 and MX150, respectively, and that means you really don't need to wait for the newer models if you're in the market for a new laptop now. It also means that when you inevitably start seeing discounts on the MX150 cohort, you should feel comfortable snapping up a bargain. Now playing, watch this, Huawei's new MateBooks give you the power to touch and. 2.11 is a bit of a twist when looking at laptops incorporating MX series GPUs, though. Each comes in two different versions, a 10-watt part that goes in the thinnest of ultra-thins and a 25-watt part for laptops a bit thicker. The higher power version supports slightly faster clock speeds so it should theoretically deliver somewhat better performance. Also, both generations of the MX series are based on NVIDIA's Pascal architecture GP108 graphics core, which makes them equivalent to the GT1030 desktop card. And like that card, it can support up to GDDR5 memory, but is usually paired with GDDR4, which can bog down performance significantly. Unfortunately, you don't know what you're getting until you've gotten it. Laptop manufacturers don't tell you, and there's no branding, such as Max-Q, you have to dig into the details of the system to even find that information, how much faster. Extrapolating from the high power MX150 part in the razor blade stealth we tested, I'd place the differential between low and high power versions at about 25%. But stick a pin in performance differential, because I'll come back to what that means in practice. You do seem to sacrifice battery life, though. The MX250 is definitely faster than Intel's integrated graphics, though it's hard to say exactly how much for gaming because you can't even run most of the games on the integrated GPU. I think the bigger point here is that for some games, such as Limbo, it tips your system over the line between can't run it and at least meets the minimum requirements for OpenGL supporting graphics work. It makes the notable difference, too, if you're working with simple 3D models, applying complex filters on photos or working with low-res video. The generational differences are a lot smaller, though. For example, on the Deus Ex and Time Spy, a measure of DirectX 12 performance benchmarks we saw a bump of roughly 20%, but that translates, in the case of Deus Ex, to an increase to 15 FPS from 12 FPS. So an playable game is still unplayable. I dropped the 1080p quality settings down to low for the newer model and the gap increased to 45% better frame rate, 22.4 FPS. Still unplayably slow. In contrast, you'll get way better performance, and be able to play a lot more games by simply stepping up to a laptop with GTX 1050 graphics, or its replacement.
the GTX 1650. While no one would ever play Deus Ex Mankind divided on the MateBook, it does illustrate the point that your over-year improvements which may sound big can be illusory. But it may move the line an inch between, I give up and, I can live with this for your favorite platformer. Performance Tests Geekbench 4 Multicore Microsoft Surface Book 2 15-inch Huawei MateBook X Pro 2018 Asus ZenBook Flip 14 LG GAM 14 HP Spectre X 360 15 2018 Huawei MateBook X Pro 2019 Razer Blade Stealth Node Longer bars indicate better performance Cinebench R15 Open Google FPS LG GAM 14 HP Spectre X 360 15 2018 Razer Blade Stealth Asus and Book Flip 14 Huawei Mate Book X Pro 2019 Huawei Mate Book X Pro 2018 Node longer bars indicate better performance. Deus Ex Mankind divided gaming test. Huawei MateBook X Pro 2018. Asus ZenBook Flip 14. Huawei MateBook X Pro 2019. Acer Aspari 1557G6 Razer Blade Stealth HP Spectre X 360 15 2018. Microsoft Surface Book 2 15 inch Node longer bars indicate better performance. FPS Deus Ex Mankind divided gaming test. Huawei Mate Book X Pro 2018 Asus and Book Flip 14 Huawei Mate Book X Pro 2019 Razer Blade Stealth HP Spectre X 360 15 2018 Microsoft Surface Book 2 15-inch Note Longer bars indicate better performance FPS System Configurations Asus ZenBook Flip 14 Microsoft Windows 10 Home 64-bit 1.8 GHz Intel Core Y78550U 16 GB DDR3 SDRAM 2133 MHz 2 GB NVIDIA GeForce MX150 Graphics 512 GB SSD HP Spec X 360 15 2018 Microsoft Windows 10 Home 64-bit 3.1 GHz Intel Core Y78705G 16 GB DDR4 SDRAM 2400 MHz 4 GB AMD Radeon RX Vega MGL Graphics 512 GB SSD Huawei MateBook X Pro 2018 Microsoft Windows 10 Home 64-bit 1.8 GHz Intel Core Y78550U 16 GB DDR3 SDRAM 2133 MHz 2 GB NVIDIA GeForce MX150 Graphics 512 GB SSD Huawei MateBook X Pro 2019 Microsoft Windows 10 Home 64-bit 1.8 GHz Intel Core i78565U 16 GB DDR4 SDRAM 2133 MHz 2 GB NVIDIA GeForce MX250 Graphics 1 TB SSD LG Gram 14 2 in 1 Microsoft Windows 10 Home 64-bit 1.8 GHz Intel Core i78565U 16 GB DDR4 SDRAM 2400 MHz 128 MB Dedicated Intel HD Graphics 620, 512 GB SSD Microsoft Surface Book 2 Microsoft Windows 10 Pro 64-bit 1.9 GHz Intel Core Y78650U 16 GB DDR4 SDRAM 1866 MHz 6 GB NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 1 TB SSD Razer Blade Stealth 2019 Microsoft Windows 10 Home 64-bit 1.8 GHz Hertz Intel Core i78565U 16 GB DDR3 SDRAM 2133 MHz 2 GB NVIDIA GeForce MX150 Graphics 512 GB SSD 1189 CNET may get a commission from retail office. Huawei MateBook X Pro Let's Block Ads. Why?